Because of such haphazard planning and on-the-go planning on West Connex, the Rizal community, all of you, are now fighting this bizarre battle of this unbuildable underground spaghetti junction. We need world-class public transport. Stop pillaging our communities! We were late to this, but we are now with you from the North Shore. You are going to hear about how supposedly tough planning conditions will protect you from the worst of the construction impacts. But tell that to the people in St Peter's and Haberfield and Ashfield who are living with this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. With neither Labor nor the Coalition committing to filter stacks. And that demonstrates the extent to which those that are backing West Connects, the lobbyists in particular, people like Nick Greiner, who came up with the original proposal for West Connects, who's now an advisor to Transurban. As the toxic tentacles of toll roads spread across Sydney, far and wide, they are really tightening a hold on our hip pocket, on our health, and on our city. An extra lane for a seven and a half kilometre trip between Parramatta and Homebush? So far, this toll has led to 25% of anticipated M4 traffic shifting to Parramatta Road or other routes. That road upgrade will only take three years of tolls to pay off. It will fleece the motorists of Western Sydney. The secret deals, the hidden business cases, the billions of dollars of cost blowouts, the wastage of money. And you're trying to earn a shilling, scratching for a living. Playing fiddle at the monsters ball. I've been speaking to residents today who are suffering from severe asthma, from respiratory illnesses, from conjunctivitis and other eye infections because of that dust that is escaping and that West Connex is failing to control, who can no longer open their doors and windows at home, who can't even turn on the air conditioning in their cars anymore. And this is not just happening in St Peter's. It is happening in every suburb in Sydney that has been forced to cop one of these toxic West Connex construction sites. Bring multiple motions to council to force action on the terrible night works, construction impacts, and the dust and noise pollution every day and every night. EIS had over 13,000 objections from the local community. They're actually swallowing up our homes, our parks, sporting fields, and wetlands. The message coming out of Western Sydney today to Stuart Ayres and Gladys Berejiklian. Don't mess with the West. You dump this info toll or we will dump you. Yeah. Wake up Sydney! The first stage of the journey is called NIMBY. It's what the government calls us because we are selfish people who only care about the community in our backyard. Perhaps we can move the snokestack to the next suburb. Perhaps the tunnel can go a bit to the left so it doesn't go underneath my, my, my backyard. They wanted community feedback and I thought that this is my opportunity to make a difference. I just like to uh, point out that the smokestack that you're going to erect is actually surrounded by Haverfield Public School, some nursing homes and a lot of kindergarten. And I was wondering if it's possible to move the smokestack maybe to an industrial area. By the way, we have actually started doing preliminary construction. Okay, would it be possible to look at some sort of filtration for it? Filtration has been proven to be non-consequential um, and um, also it is something that we are not here to discuss tonight either. What exactly do you want me to come and talk to you about West Connects? I'm running out of ideas. Well, Haverfield is a heritage listed area. And the building materials for the smokestack haven't been decided upon yet. And we want to get them just right. Because we want the smokestack to blend into the architectural landscape. I see. I understand. Do you have a brick chart? Sorry? No, it's all right. What I suggest you do is you consider some brickwork that is sandstone in texture with some earthly tones of browns and reds. Once you've found these bricks, coat them literally in lubricant and shove them up your smokestack. And stage two comes to you with the subtlety of a defibrillator caressing your chest during a heart attack. 
You wake up one morning and there's someone digging an exploratory hole in your driveway. Your trees are being pulped and turned into mulch. There's a bulldozer doing donuts where Mrs. Jones' house used to be, four houses down from you. And the local park where the under 10s played every two weeks is now a car park. In this stage, and I was one of them, you still think that if you can present a logical, well thought out argument to someone high enough in government where the air is purified, they will listen to you. In search of my high altitude rarefied air in government, I fronted up to the toll inquiry. I spent a week collating facts, figures, refining my argument. When I fronted up, I was told, you have two minutes. I was implying that West Connex was not going to bring any benefit to my community. I said, no, sir. I'm not implying that at all. I'm stating a fact. Have you and your engineer actually ever been to the city of Westlink or Parramatta Road at 8 o'clock in the morning? Stage 3 is where we probably are all at or we need to get to. This is where you realise that unfortunately no matter what you say, no matter how articulate, no matter how well thought out your argument is, no matter how many submissions you submerge any politician in, the current government does not care. They will not shift their position. No West Connects! No West Connects! Do we want it? Now! What do we want? No West Connects! Now! No West Connects! No West Connects! No West Connects! No West The building motorways, tollways will not work. And it's not just an issue of pollution. It's also an issue of profitability. The Sydney Motorway Corporation and the government are going to your super funds right now. They're approaching your super funds and say invest in this risky destructive project and you need to be telling your super funds you don't want your money invested in this project. That you don't want your bank to support the Sydney Motorway Corporation purchase because this project in the end will lock our city into car dependency. Write to your bank, write to your financial institution, write to your super fund and say, don't invest in West Connex. Premier Gladys Merritt Ian is presiding over a total frenzy of private toll road building that is sucking billions out of public transport for generations to come. We don't want a state run by big business for big business. We want a state run by the people of the state and for the people of the state. Yeah.